fucking daisy singing in that. So what are you doing? I'm making spaghetti. Okay, why? Well, what if I told you that I know how to make the best spaghetti that costs you less than $10 approximately to make, that tastes so good that it tastes better than your average restaurant, personally, I think way better than Olive Garden, and I can teach you these secrets, and I'm going to film it, and I want you to taste it, and I want you to tell me what you think about it. What, what do you think about this plan? Oh, I can do that if I don't have to cook my own dinner. I'm down. Well, I want to show the secrets of how to make this ghetto creation. A ghetto creation is what I call things that you make that are really, really good out of just random things around the house. Um, like, for instance, you can use cheese powder out of macaroni and cheese for a lot of different things. You know, And you can use a lot of things for a lot of different things. This is a ghetto creation. I've had many of people... Many of people ask me to make it constantly, um, and it tastes better than a restaurant. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go. Okay, here's how you do it. You get two cans of sauce. You put in your olive oil, and you can use just basic sauce, okay? Put in about that much. Put in your two cans of basic sauce. Normally, they're like a dollar. Like, if you get that Prego, they're like three dollars, okay? This is super cheap, super good, and you got to do it just the way I'm showing you. You add it in, okay, with your olive oil. Put it on about medium heat, a little bit higher. Take each can and then put half of the water in there and then shake them. Fill each one halfway. Now the wine is optional. It puts it in a whole nother ballpark. It's much better. I suggest that you add in one cup of wine. It, it won't get you drunk or anything. It'll cook it out. It's just for flavor, and it is much better. Now, the object of this is to cook this water out with all the ingredients in it, and that's what transforms this into an amazing thing. As you can see, I've got the heat just above a little bit over medium, and there's the spices that I'm using. Now, I eyeball it. Just kind of watch what I do, see? I just put a good layer, a nice layer. Just kind of think about it going all the way down to the bottom, you know, and just imagine it. There'll be a shot in here where I'll show you what it looks like when it's all stirred. You should lightly be able to see just green specks in it. There goes the other one, Italian or basil, I'm not sure, but there it goes. Just cover it. Just a nice covering. Now you're going to notice I use garlic twice. I put in a good amount. Now I cover it more with the garlic on the first time. Then I stir all that together and then I taste it and then I add more garlic depending upon what's needed. I would say it's kind of a personal preference. <clears throat> and this is one of the main keys. Stir this well like stir it well I, I stirred it you know much longer than what you're seeing that's midnight that's my friend's cat but yeah cook it at high you know a little a little medium till right. it gets to like this now this is the thing I gotta show you scrape all around the sides of the pan all that stuff that sticks you want to get that scraped okay. off and into the sauce that's what gives you the a lot of the flavor it's very important now brown your one pound of ground beef ground chuck whatever I use Montreal steak seasoning and seasoned salt. Now I started this at like 8.05 p.m. and we ate it like midnight one o'clock so it takes a long time to cook this and you want to cook it kind of on low and I'm going to show you soon the exact consistency that you want it. You want to add your beef in as soon as possible. You want to cook that in as long as you can. Cover it. 
and cook it a long time on low. Now this is your water. Put some olive oil in there and some salt. This has been probably like two and a half, three hours later that I've been cooking it. Give it a good stir with all that salt and the olive oil. It's going to make your noodles not stick and it's going to make the water boil faster. I break my spaghetti. That's one pack. Now you want to cook it a little bit less than al dente because you're going to add all that into it. Now this is the example of the consistency. It's like thicker than chili. That's how you want it, okay? You see that? You see it with the ladle, how it's barely falling out? That's how you want it. You got to cook it that long, okay? When it's like that, it's ready. You don't want to cook it on high though. You want to cook it on low. Once you get it to that point where I showed you where it got kind of bubbly and you got it, you scrape the sides, you can then you turn it on lower. Like I said, cook your noodles a little bit less than al dente. Because you're going to put them into the sauce right now and then that's going to make them not be mushy when you serve it. Now, this is key. Let it cool down now at this point. Okay, so what's taking it, so long with like the food? You can see I went outside, I'm smoking a cigarette. Look, Let it secret. cool down. And then it will put it back on low and then let it warm back up and stir it and then serve it. The secret to this whole recipe is I really don't know what I'm talking about there. So who knows? I'm just talking about pretty much what I'm telling you. Um, I'm having to do this voiceover. So anyway, I'm about to go back in after I smoke. And like I said, it's going to be, I think right now at this point, I've got it back on low. I had it cool room temperature and I'm about to go back in now. And here comes the pictures. The right You're going to have to pause it if you want to see. I've got the list coming up of all the uh, ingredients the and how much you know food, how many people it serves and all that. And there it is right there if you want to pause it. And there it is. There's the finished product. I guarantee it's better than most restaurants and it's so cheap. It's bomb, guys. I, I didn't have the wine, or else I would have used it, but I suggest definitely using the one cup so of red wine and cooking it out. It's imperative. You think it tastes better than Olive Garden? But thank you for Olive watching. Garden? I have no idea why my comments are off. It's very upsetting. I'm trying to fix it. So if you want to comment to me, just do it on a past video. Sorry about it. I'm working on it. Thanks for watching, folks. Love you guys. Bye. That's it.